Hey, it's Rob from Fandroid.com. We're going to kill two birds with one stone here and show you how to download and install applications that aren't in Android Market from the web. And we're also going to show you one of those applications, which is the iTunes Remote Control, uh, ported over from the iPhone by Jeffrey Sharkey. And that's why I've got my laptop and iTunes on in the background. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the settings in your G1 or Android phone and in the applications settings you'll see unknown sources allow install of non-market applications that is exactly what we want accept the terms and don't screw something up application please and we're going to then now that's for downloading non-market applications for this particular application we need Wi-Fi so we need to enable Wi-Fi and it has to be on the same Wi-Fi network as the laptop that you want to control iTunes on. So that's obtaining the IP address, and it's the proper IP. <clears throat> and now all we have to do is download the .apk file, which is the extension for Android applications. So in the browser, I've already got the, the post up from Fandroid about the iTunes remote control. And in that post, I provide a link. You'll see free to download and all you have to do is click on that, it's a direct link to the APK and it should download now, yep and look it's already done downloading so we'll select that and it asks us do we want to allow access, yes we do and it should just take a minute to install here application installed so now we can launch it there's a bunch of terms hopefully Jeffrey did us right and now it's just searching for the Wi-Fi yep, and they're on the same network and that's my library so I'm gonna admit I have no library practically because I just had to wipe my computer clean from a virus so I haven't put any or many songs on it so Okay, now we've got to pair it. Now we have to tell iTunes that, yes, we want to connect to the phone. So, 0000, zero, zero, zero is going to be the code. Let me just show you. In iTunes now, there should be... There it is. See the Android device? So, we need to click on that, and then it will allow us to enter a pairing code. So, let me do that really quick. Android device and the parent code is 0000 so there we go and now we are all connected you'll see and it looks like yep I've got Jay-Z on here now so let's play that and you can see now it's playing on my iTunes So that's pretty cool. So when I pause it, it'll pause it on my computer. I could be somewhere else in the house as long as I'm on the same Wi-Fi network, and this will work. Uh, you so you can play, you can fast forward, or that changes songs actually. Excuse me. Fast forward. You can just drag this little, drag that little bar, and it almost instantaneously is changing where you're going in your iTunes so that's really neat you can basically control your iTunes from anywhere in your house so let's take a look at the menu let me pause this first real quick okay so you can also browse through artists browse through songs so like I said I don't have much on my or anything on my library right now um, but let's go to artists and you can see I have three Biggie, Jay-Z and Ronald Jenkins. Now that's a quite a pair if anybody, or trio excuse me if anybody doesn't know who Ronald Jenkins is you have to check this guy out on YouTube he is a genius and he's also a clown and a dork but just a quirky and a genuinely nice guy it seems like but he's a mastermind when it comes to producing and um and piano man the guy's outrageous so here you go this is remix to a remix it's 
So this guy does this all on his computer and his keyboard, and he is sick on the keyboard. I'll give you all a link to his uh, his YouTube profile, but it's definitely worth checking out. Okay, so you can also do repeat the song, shuffle, search, artist. You can pick another library. If you had another library on here, I don't. Um, but as far as any complaints or changes, or uh, the one thing I would like to be able to do is change the volume. Um, a couple times, even just during this recording, I wanted to turn it down and not necessarily pause the whole thing. Uh, so that's something it can't do that I'd like for it to be able to do.